practice, practice. No, we're going to take some time off. Uh, then we're going to actually practice as well. We're going to watch some film, let their bodies rest up a little bit, uh, and then prepare for SMU in that time as well. So uh, practices is something we need right now. Obviously, if you play four games in seven days, uh, that's, that's quite a bit of playing. Or if you look at that we played five games in 11 days, depending on how you look at it. Uh, we, we need some time to get back into practice, do some things, get in the groove, uh, and, and just let them rest a little bit and let them focus on academics. I mean, that's just the, that's the part about it. So we'll take advantage of it. Practice means you're working on something. What are you working on? Uh, we're working on stuff that we've been working on since June. So uh, fill it up. Make sure you make baskets. Make sure you share the ball. Uh, work on our defensive principles. Uh, work on boxing out. Uh, just the simple, the simple things that you got to do to have success, uh, and you know, execute. Uh, probably the big thing for us is when we we look at our games that we play, and you know, how do we handle pressure? How do we handle those things? Do we let it get to us? Do we do we fragment or do we stay together? And that's you know, working to stay together in those type of situations is going to be key for us because that's how you have success. You guys uh, shot the ball well in the second half, if I'm not mistaken, from beyond the arc. Uh, what is that a product of uh, against uh, Charleston Southern? What's that a product of? Well, we, we put an emphasis and premium on shooting in practice. Uh, you know, uh, I block a half hour of shooting each day that we have practice. Uh, that's just something we do. Uh, I'd like to do more, but there's other things you got to accomplish. I mean, you go, oh, yeah, you could practice for, you know, three, four hours a day, but, you know, keeping their time keeping their time management for them, that's not fair. So we're, we're a two hour practice slot, maybe two and a half. Um, and so, you know, half hour practice is shooting, you know, and then we lose 20 minutes of stretching. So really we're, that's it. After that, it's, uh, that's the product of it all. But, you know, that's, that's something we've talked about all year long. We talked about in the summertime, hey, let's shoot the ball and let's share it. And, you know, uh, obviously we made a lot of threes, but, uh, you know, we got to pound it inside too and do some things to take care of mid range, but uh, they did a good job. So I was happy. Seems like Lily's starting to sort of find her stride in these last three or four games. What has she been doing so well to sort of get herself in rhythm and, and be a good shooter for you guys? Well, Lily comes in and watches film. Uh, you know, she she's always asking for uh, you know, I guess teaching tools to help her get better. Uh, that's the big thing about her. Uh, she's very resilient on the floor. She's teachable. Uh, she wants to be uh, be the best player she can for her team. It's not really even about her. Uh, she's a ball of energy. There's no question about that when she plays. Uh, but she's fearless too, and, and we, that's contagious with the team. At seven and two, are you where you thought you'd be in terms of how you're seeing the team play? Has anything sort of jumped out and surprised you yet so far? Probably the biggest thing that surprised me was just how well they grasped the concepts that we did. Uh, they worked hard at that. But uh, you know, being seven and two. Yeah, you know, that's that's everybody's goal. I don't think anybody sets out to be anything else, but be the best you can be at that time. Uh, we don't really talk about a record a whole lot, to be truthful. Uh, we, we talk about how do we get better each game? How do we get a little bit better each practice? Um, but uh, this group, you look at it, right? And you got eight freshmen, you know, three sophomores, three juniors, and one senior. Yeah, and uh, that's that's a pretty young crew to be out there playing with. Uh, even the senior who's on our teams in their second year of being in the program. So uh, we're, we're excited about that part of it, um, just getting better. They're excited about the opportunity to play each, each time getting on the floor. Uh, I think they're excited about the weather when we were down in Charleston. So uh, there was no snow, no wind, no mosquitoes, no bugs. It was, it was nice. What did you see from Leeds' presence on the defensive end of the floor against Charleston Southern, and how did that contribute or lead to your offensive output? Well, it's kind of funny with Leet, right? She didn't get any block shots that game. She's second in the country right now in block shots. And, uh, um, you know, it tells you a little bit of her presence down there starting to be recognized by teams. And, and she's starting to, I guess, make it a little bit tougher to get go attack the rim. Uh, you know, and there's some things that she does well offensively for us as well with her size. But defensively, she's starting to figure some things out, which we thought uh, in the recruiting process that she would. Uh, but she's, she's just a very good person in general and basketball player. I just saw like you know a couple highlights of the game against Charleston Southern, but it seemed to me like Julia is taking on kind of that role that Lexi had for you guys in your offense. Is that a fair comparison? No, because they're just two different players. Julia's, uh, if you watch Lexi play, very smooth and uh, uh, kind of a calming force when she plays, and Julia's really more like just a. a it doesn't matter to her. She's kind of like like a I call her the rhino. I, I really do. Very smart when she plays, but just 
doesn't it throws her body around doesn't matter to her you know she took a big charge you know she'll box out she'll set screens um, she's pretty tenacious on both ends of the floor uh, and that's that's just her style of play and and I guess when you look at that comparison Lexi you know very strong player scored a lot but I think Jules is more of a uh, just more physical just all around where Lexi was very smart about how she played and what she did and so very different in that aspect but you know if she wants to get to that point I won't stop her I can tell you that.